huge honor, um, considering that they're they're considering Virginia and Virginia Tech and JMU and all them. So um, being put in that category is a huge honor and it's very humbling. Old Dominion quarterback Taylor Heineke, the Georgia Player of the Year as a high school senior, named the Virginia College Football Player of the Year as he takes home the Dudley Award. I'm Brian Parsons in for Bruce this Saturday at Foreman Field in front of a national television audience. Old Dominion will take on Georgia Southern in the quarterfinals of the FCS National Playoffs. Georgia Southern was the team that knocked ODU out of the playoffs a year ago, winning a shootout 55 to 48. Georgia Southern is known for that run first triple option, and they know what to expect against Heineke and the high powered ODU offense. They're going to be the best offense we've faced this season. That's no doubt. Uh, might be the best offensive team in the country, just the way the things they do. Their passing attack, their quarterback, he's he's very versatile. He's he's one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, I feel like. And um, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be on challenge Saturday, and we just got to produ uh, listen to the coaches and be ready to execute the scheme. After being honored as the Virginia College Player of the Year last night, Heineke is also one of three finalists for the Walter Payton Award which goes to the top player in Division I AA. Chris Reckling recently caught up with the Dean's List engineering major from Atlanta. Just two years into his college football career at Old Dominion and quarterback Taylor Heineke is leaving a mark that future Old Dominion quarterbacks will have trouble getting past. This year alone, the Atlanta Georgia native has thrown for over 4,000 yards. In September, Heineke set a Division I record with 730 yards passing against New Hampshire. Amazing accomplishments, yet he says he still has lots of room for improvement. I think so. Uh, Coach Bickham has uh, put a huge emphasis on uh, uh, mechanics, and um, you know, we, we watch film on it 30, 30 minutes a day on mechanics, and uh, we, we really believe, and we have a huge philosophy on that. If you have proper mechanics, you're a lot more accurate, and you have a lot more zip on the ball, so um, you know, every day we, we uh, study mechanics. While just a sophomore, Heineke is loading up on postseason awards. Last week, he was named as one of three finalists for the Walter Payton Award and recently was named the CAA Player of the Year. You know, looking back at it, it's, it's, it's been a very humbling and, and a great year. Um, you know, again, you know, hard work pays off. While still very humble, Heineke is a student of the game and tireless worker at his craft. Head coach Bobby Wilder says Heineke has made significant progress from his freshman to his sophomore year. Just to continue to understand that moving the chains is the most important thing. Getting first downs, that'll lead to touchdowns. He, he values the football. Uh, he understands that concept. Yes, Taylor Heineke will be a tough act to follow. And with two years left at Old Dominion, he still has many goals left to fulfill. In Norfolk, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.